My people not be small. Hmm. It be like say, hey PC people nyash don't they shake. Hey. As matter say they go, so PDP come in a strong way together with Labour Party. Now some people they talk say the PDP they try to do it. They try to tie the Labour Party and go back because. PDP just be like Wahala for the road of Labour Party. Now, the way the PDP take the hold the neck of the judge for court, not be smart, you know. Then they do everything so they want. Then they let the court, they understand, say, now their own candidates now win this election. Hmm. My people, as we tell they see this matter, this matter go long go. Now, we they see the, say, P PDP, Lawyers, the commerce side. Why Peter will be lawyer self, the commerce side to come the de, uh, defend Peter will be. But the truth of it, we say APC, oh, we never still see APC, won't we'll make it commerce side. Come every talk for their own part. Now it can't be like say, now PDP and Labour Party can't they drag each other waste now. My people not be smart, you know. As we tell they see this matter, they go. It be like say the water don't they shake the APC people. My people are go like make when I go watch the video. Make when I see what see the PDP people they talk. When we say they talk, say enough is enough. Say that May 29, that May 29, nothing like say Buhari they carry power, they give one person. He said, because as long as say the case still there for court, case no go feed there for court, me they want hand over power, give one person. Make when I go watch the video. With the proceedings at the court, in line with our own processes as a party that believes that the people have the right to know. And so we can be having this interaction from time to time as the proceeding continues. So today we have the media interaction on the pre hearing session on the presidential election petition court. Today, Tuesday, 9 May 2023. And we are saying here, and I want the whole world to know, that we have a watertight case, incontrovertible evidence. And the PDB says, the request for live brokers of proceedings is in the interest of openness. The People's Democratic Party, the PDP, and its candidate, Atiku Abubakar, appreciates Nigerians the media, civil society, and all lovers of democracy for their solidarity and support in the bid by the PDP to retrieve the presidential mandate freely given to our party at the February 25, 2023 presidential election, but which was brazenly stolen by the APC aided by INEC. This solidarity is born out of the fact that majority of Nigerians voted massively for Atiku Abubakar, and they won that mandate retrieved and restored to the PDP and his candidate. As you are aware, the pre-hearing session in our petition before the presidential election court commenced today, Tuesday, May 9, 2023. The PDP and Atiku Abubaka have a watertight petition. Our facts and body of evidence are incontrovertible. Our party re restates its confidence in the ability of the judiciary to discharge its constitutional duty dispassionately based on the evidence before it. At the pre-hearing session today, our legal team announced the filing of a motion on notice before the presidential election petition court requesting for a live broadcast of the proceedings of the court. This application, which is in no cause, is in the interest of openness, which is an essential ingredient of participatory democracy, especially as Nigerians are desirous of being directly involved at every stage of the electoral process. The PDB therefore calls on Nigerians to remain at alert, 
be informed and law abiding as we commence this crucial phase in the quest to rescue, rebuild, and redirect our nation from the misrule of the APC. I thank you all for coming at short notice and God bless Nigeria. We're only making reference to what transpired in court today. It wasn't a commentary on the, on the court case. You rightly said that, of course, I won't be part, and our party has never been part of anything that will be subjudice. If anything, it's the, it's the other party that have been involved in that, and we have drawn attention to that. What happened in the court today was that in the interest of openness, the, the PDP filed a motion on notice to the court for a live telecast. And I don't, I don't think that is inconsistent. In any event, in the democracy, the openness of any process is what determines the level of credibility and integrity that is placed on that process. And in any event, what we are asking for is consistent with what the Electoral Act provided for. That's why INEC, in its proce processes throughout the election, you recall that the collation, the announcement, the declaration were done on live television. And the election petition tribunal or court is part of an electoral process. The electoral process is not just the election and you vote and it's counted and announced. No, it actually starts, that's why you have pre-election matters, election matters, and post-election. The pre-election is the one that the, the parties, internal democracy, whether you have uh, people contesting within a party that I like equally supervise, because they need it to be open. So the, the major request there to say, look, we want it to be open. We want Nigerians to participate, to see the proceeding, and know that, yes, it was open. And of course, it actually will, will insulate anybody making comments that are derogatory to the court because they're part of it, they saw it. So it is not inconsistent with what the law requires, which is, and what the practice that INEC has started. So if INEC has been operating in the open, and um, in part of the process of pre-election, the election proper in the announcement, of course, the court proceeding as part of an election process. So, and the challenge we had, we probably won't be in the petition today, if INEC, for instance, had done the right thing by making all the procedures and all the processes open, they were open to the point of the voting, open to the point of counting, then at the point of transmitting, which is supposed to be open as well, they went mute and they shut down their systems. And this is the point. We're saying, make all the process. If INEC has been open, if they are transmitted result directly as required by law and by their own guidelines, Perhaps there won't be petitions in the court today. Because it will have been pro the process will have been transparent, it will have been open, and people will be satisfied that yes, INEC has done it openly. They have declared the results as, as transparently as possible. And then, of course, perhaps, just perhaps, we won't be in this uh, new stage of the, probably the, the, the tribunal or the court processes with the election petition will probably will be unnecessary. And so that's why it's, it's, it's important that Nigerians will be interested. We, you, in the closing, we said that Nigerians should be alert. They should be informed. When people are not informed, then you create room for, for rumor. People will not say they will have their own version. But if you see it, and I saw it, and everybody can see it, of course, the, uh, the opportunity for you to begin to create lies and have fake news around will not be there. So that's, that's explaining why we are asking for that. And of course, it's, it's left for the court to decide uh, it's discretionary, we know that as a lawyer, I know that is a discretionary request. It is for the judgment of the court to decide, one way or the other. But of course, we think it's important for Nigerians to know what we requested for. And I think it's in line with the procedure for us as a party to let Nigerians know what we're asking for and why we're asking for it. So, would it be by, that by any chance you are expressing some fear that if this procedure is not adopted, uh, there may be some uh, hands that, you know, like monkey hands, you go into this. That is your word, not mine.
Yes. Yes, sir. This um, what? So I don't talk about the other parties. I don't talk about them. The other party. We are democratic. We do our things right. Thank you very much. My people, now the video now on our new watch finish. So on our see what it happen for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make sure let me know what it on our team for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make sure subscribe so that on our logo be early latest this way and you upload. Now, bye bye till I call our next time. Bye guys, see you guys for the next video. Bye guys.